Hello and welcome to BioFairs. Today I'll be talking about detailed classification of bacteria based upon their special morphological characteristics. Not characteristic, special morphology based. So what is their structure? How they look under the microscope? That I'll be talking about with example. So it will be very easy for you to answer the questions in during MCQ in your exams or any competitive exams. So let's start with examples and first we'll go with gram positive. Then we'll go for gram negative or we'll go first for gram negative and then go for gram positive. Let's understand this. So let's start with gram positive cocky arranged in different cell or morphology. So we know basically we identify bacteria with gram staining, defined gram positive and gram negative. Of course, there is exceptions. I will tell you about that. But first start with gram positive cocky. Can be, it can be a bacilli, it can be a cocky. And within this, there are subdivisions. So starting with cocky. So here in a gram positive cocky, the clusters, cluster separate is Staphylococcus, is an exact perfect example. In the form of chain, the example is Streptococcus. Pairs or lanculate cell. This lanculate cell means a leaf-like, leaf-like structure where the end portion is much wider than the middle portion or a petal shape. So it is a petal shape you can say. This area is much wider, much wider than the or you can also say it is an ovate shape. Ovate or petal cell, right? So this is called lanculate cell bacteria. Perfect example is Pneumococcus. Now there are several species is there, but the genera I have written here. Now the spectacle separate as the name suggests. The perfect example is Enterococcus, then tetrad where Micrococcus comes, and then octet. So tetrad, you know, it is a four-member family. Or four member state. This is called tetrad, where when it is doubled as an octet or eight number, the vector is sarcina. So sarcina stays, or the morphology of sarcina describes with this octet structure. Whereas in case of microcus, it is a tetrad structure. Now coming to next, I am telling you about cocky now. So here again, gram negative cocky. How they can stay? They can be stayed in two forms. Both are in pair. So first one is lens separate and second one is the kidney separate. So lens separate is meningococcus and the kidney separate bacteria is gonococcus. So this specific morphological characteristics help you to identify the bacteria in the laboratory under the microscope. So you can diagnose it much faster if you have this knowledge of particular morphological aspect of each individual organism. Okay, these are most important bacteria I am telling you medically, medically important bacteria. Now I will be going for bacilli structures. So coming to the next section, that is bacilli section. In the previous section we have learned about cocky in special cells. Here in the bacilli form. So first gram positive bacilli. Under this a chain or bamboo stick appearance can be found for very critical bacteria, Bacillus anthracis. Now again, like Chinese letter or cuneiform pattern. So cuneiform is nothing but the cone-like form like this. These are called cuneiform for Chinese letter form. It also be found in Cordybacterium diphtheri. Then again, palisade pattern. Palisade pattern, if you have read the uh, chlorophyll, there this kind of structures form same under the leaf or inside the leaf cells palisade pattern chlorophyll molecules are there so this pattern is called palisade and these diphtheroids will show you these palisade patterns under the microscope next is branched and filamentous forms 
So branched and filamentous forms we know we can see under the microscope for fungi. But here I'm talking about bacteria. So actinomyces and nocardia is bacteria which shows you characteristics like fungi. That is filamentous forms or mycelial forms can be found under the microscope. But they are actually a bacteria. Now coming to gram negative bacilli arranged in pleomorphic. So you all know pleomorphic means there are, there are no definite shape of the bacteria or arrangement of the bacteria. That can be found exclusively for hemophilus and proteus species. Okay. Now next is thumb pretabulators. So this is also very exclusive appearance. Can be found exclusively for Bordetella pertussis. And again, comma separate or fish in a stream appearance. So this can be observed in like the fish in a stream or comma separate. This can be found for Vibrio cholerae bacteria. And last is curved bacteria under the gram negative acidity. Curved bacteria is Campylobacter and Helicobacter. This kind of bacteria are called curved bacteria or can be seen as a curved like structure under the microscope. So these are very important pattern, morphological patterns for bacilli structure. Which bacilli? Gram positive and gram negative bacilli. Previous we have learned about gram positive cocci and gram negative cocci. Here gram positive bacilli and gram negative bacilli. Now I will go for some special bacteria which cannot be defined under this gram positive cocci or gram positive bacilli. That are called so that are separated not by the gram state but you can stain to other means but we cannot classify this under this two gram positive or gram negative patterns so let's find out so in the other category we can see spirally coiled or flexible bacteria rigid spiral forms and bacteria that lack cell wall so spiral kit is a very important pathogenic bacteria Medically very important. So this is classified under spirally coiled or flexible bacteria. Then rigid spiral forms, these are not flexible bacteria. So spirillum, we can say it. And then bacteria that lack cell wall, you all know mycoplasma. So in some books you may see mycoplasma is under pleomorphic bacteria, but actually mycoplasma cannot show you pleomorphic forms. Due to the lack of cell wall, you may say that it may behave like the structure but it is, cannot be classified under the pleomorphic structures. If my classes are really helping you in your studies and it is really clearing your concept and if you really like my classes, give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel, Bye